Hey everyone, Flobo Boys here, owner, co-founder of New Amsterdam Entertainment, which is an entertainment brand that has a lot of live entertainment elements, much like our live podcast, uh, live in-person event, and more. Uh, I would say as a podcast host, I got uh, acquainted with the matchmaker just one day looking for guests, and I guess I came across a profile page of a guest I eventually booked on the show through Matchmaker, and I've been a user ever since as both the host of my podcast, New Amsterdam Radio, and as a guest myself. So I'm a dual user. Uh, that got me through the pandemic when I went through all of my friends and all of my friends' friends and all of my other business associates. And I was looking for a host about uh, New Amsterdam Radio, which is my flagship podcast about uh, entrepreneurships and creators and how they're trying to persevere through challenges, first of all, with the pandemic, but eventually with just launching a business outright. Uh, I had a lot of positive experiences with Matchmaker. Uh, .fm. Uh, I will recommend Magic.fm to guests if you have something that you want to promote as part of an ongoing campaign. Like no, no one show is a magic bullet, but let's say you have a book or a new business launch and you have uh, appearances as part of your strategy. It's a very useful tool to get that done. I mean, once you're on and once you have the ball rolling, then you can open yourself up, uh, use the clips from your first podcast appearances to other things and vice versa. It's definitely something I use. It's in my tool bag. It really helps the brand grow. It really helps me uh, to speak with different people I wouldn't know through my personal network. And I recommend it uh, for anyone that has a podcast that's looking to level up on that end or as a guest that really wants to start off their marketing or promotion or their thought leadership uh, program with a push.